two by four Christmas tree, you're going to need two by four material. Ten feet of it. So you either need a ten footer or eight foot and some change. But either way, you're going to need ten feet total. So we're going to start off on cutting out on the miter saw. Tools for this is super simple. We need a miter saw, a sander, and a drill. We're going to start cutting um, our angles first. As you notice, this tree is all angles. At the top here, we got 245s. The rest are 22 and a half. First thing I'm going to do is turn my saw to 45 degrees. Now, this is a bevel cut because we're cutting through the thickness of the wood. You can turn your saw and bevel it to make your bevel cuts, or what I do that's just faster for me is turn my saw, let's turn the saw table to the degree that I need it, and I'm going to flip my board up and cut like that. If you are going to do this, also refer to your owner's manual for your saw to see how the best way for you to cut these boards, okay? Alright, so get started. And at 45, I'm going to cut my first end off. So I've got a 45 degree cut. Now the second cut is going to be at 22 and a half. And that's going to be from 14 inches from long point to long point. So I'm going to turn my saw the opposite direction to 22 and a half. And then I'm going to measure 14. I'm going to make a mark right there. I like to put it lower so I can put it in between um, the yellow things here so I know where my blade is going to fall. I'm going to go ahead and cut these two knots out. Now, my second cut is going to be at 45, so that's from long point to long point. I'm going to turn my saw to 45. Now, from long point to long point, it's 12 inches. And if you have trouble lining this up, make it a little longer. Because you can always cut excess off, but you can't put it back. So if you're unsure, just cut it a little bit longer and then trim off if needed. So now I've got these two top cuts there. The next four pieces are all cut at the same angle, same length. So they are identical. Four pieces. And these are 22 and a half, so make sure you cut your 45 off. And I'm going to move my board down. So I'm not flipping it, and I'm not moving this table, I'm moving it down. Because we're going to be from short point to long point is our new measurement. Okay, short point to long point. And it's hard for me to hook my tape on the end there, so I'm actually going to start at the 1 inch mark and mark it at 13. Will give me my 12. I'm going to mark here on my saw so that I don't have to keep measuring each board. I just know where that is at. Let us slide your board down. is 12 inches from long point to long point. I'm going to flip my board around, mark 12 inches long point to long point. Next cut is the uh, longest one which is 21 inches from long point to long point.
quick tip, this um, board here, this has got gouges, this is chipped out right here. So my long point side, that's the bottom, nobody's going to see that. So if you do have defects like that, try to hide those on the inside or the bottom. board as you go to put it together you might find that you mean may need to trim some off and that's okay if you do just let me know all right now we're going to sand all of these boards because they are rough because it's two by four construction lumber I'm going to sand these pieces with 120 grit and when I sand, I like to make sure I sand the faces, of course, plus these um, edges, these angles, and also kind of round off the, the corners as well. sanding I recommend laying it out before you start fastening with screws just so you make sure that the angles and the pieces are in the direct um, or the angles are in the direction that you need them because this one you don't want this one in there and throwing you off so just lay it out how you want it and on each piece there's going to be two inches of overlap so what I like to do is mark two inches on each board just as a guide for me. And I'm gonna set these to the side. I'm gonna start assembling from the top down. And the screws that we're using are two and a half inch trim head screws. This is GRK brand, it's my favorite. Um, they are expensive, but it's worth it. So, I'm going to grab my, I'm going to do three at the top. And your first two pieces are important because you want these to be exact. If this is off, the rest of the tree will be off. <clears throat> but I'm going to put it two in from the short piece into that longer piece. I like to take my screws and mark, put them down and see where they're going to go. What angle they need to be at, where they're going to hit, that type of thing. You don't want it too close to the end because it will split your wood. You got to be down about an inch and a half. And then I got to see what angle I need to go in at. So I'm going to make some marks right here. And then I'm going to get these screws started. It's easier for me to start the screws. Um, pushing downwards. Oops. I'm going to put one in from the other side as well. A mark where it needs to come in. This one can go straight in at a 90. I'm going to go ahead and push these boards in. I'm going to grab a straight edge to put along here, make sure I get the keep this in line.
got our top done. Now the two, the middle pieces go on and we got our uh, two inch overlaps already marked. Your, your screws are going to go in the middle of that overlap. On your inner piece, I'm going to put the screws in from the inside on one side. But my drill can't fit in the other side, so that screws will have to go in from the outside. So I'm just going to mark about or where they need to go. And it should be one and a half inches, yeah, one and a half inches from that long point in. So I'm going to start two screws. They're going to go in at 90 degrees. want to hold these pieces like clamp them together with uh, a small clamp you can definitely do that you can just hold them together you don't want gaps in between the boards though so if that pushes that board out back your screw out and go back in now on this other side the screws have to get like I said go in from the outside so, you lay it out, make a quick mark. Right. Now we're going to add the bottom two pieces. And these screws will go in from the inside. I always try to hide my screws on the inside whenever possible. And again, we're going to get these started. Uh, one and a half inches. You can measure it or you can just get it lined up and actually place your screw where it needs to go. bottom piece on the end here. Like I mentioned earlier, you may have to trim some of this off depending on how your tree kind of uh, ended up being. Uh, I'm think I'm good here. If you have to really bend your tree out or um, out to get it to fit here, you're gonna just trim some off of here. No big deal. Alright, so I'm gonna get these screws started as well. Um, Mark where they are needed to go in at. Because they need to hit the meat of the tree. Don't want them poking out of the edges. Now the very last piece. The base there will go on the very bottom and I just put two screws in for this one it doesn't need a ton so just started started them like that come on the bottom here and you want to measure so that you have even distance on each side so I got four seven eighths four and seven eighths. And there we have it. Now, as a last step before you stain or paint it, 
all those little pencil marks, I'm going to sand those off and also where the screws went into, um, any spots like that, I will touch up with my sander. Project complete.